Down where? There. Oh, she's inside. So no one's in here. Just, uh, what's her Hello. Hi, Paula. Hi. What, what are you doing here? Oh, I just came to visit. Yeah, what? come on out. You're under arrest. For what? Come outside. For You're what? under arrest. For what? For trespassing and violating a restraining order. No, I didn't do that. Yeah, you did. I didn't do that. Yeah, sir. you went to jail last time for this, Paula. I know. But you have the right to an attorney. You're being audio and visually recorded. Okay. Even if you're invited here, you can't come here. Okay. You know, you went to jail last time, right? Okay, can I get my purse? Where is it? It's in the house. How did you cut yourself? You have a little cut on your thumb. Oh, I do? Mm-hmm. I don't know how to do that. Okay. I don't want these to be too tight. Yeah, are they okay? Yeah, they're right. All right. I'm going to double lock them so they don't tighten up for you. Okay. Since you're under arrest, you do have the right to an attorney. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in court. Do you understand that? I understand. Okay. Um, tell you what. Let's see if the breath can get your purse for you. Okay. That's fine. Come out to my car. Pullman for right. I have her in custody. Is, is Barbara aware? Oh, uh, can you can you ask her to get Paula's purse out of her apartment, or maybe Don will? Oh, come over to my car. Okay. I gotta make room for you, so. Okay. <laughs> Where are you living now, Paula? I'm not. You don't have any. You're still homeless. Yeah. You know, what? Community Action Center was trying to give you housing. Oh well, maybe they can. No, <laughs> that they were. No, because I didn't contact them. Well, I know, but the, here, I don't want to hit you in the door either. Okay. okay, careful when you get in. Do you have anything that can be considered a weapon on you? No, you bet. Okay. Nope. Whoops, you going to be all right? Yeah, you know. all right. Have you been drinking today? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. You'll be able to get kind of lever yourself in there? You bet. What? Here, if no. I make a stirrup, can, will that help? Oh, no, that's all right. I can do it. But I don't want you to fall down or anything. I can do it. I think. It's hard for me, right? I, I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> all right. I can do it. Okay, you're sure Hi. you can do it? Hi. Yeah, I can do it. If you wanted me to go in the house, I'll get it. She doesn't okay. want to be in the middle. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I can get up. Okay, I can, I can lift you if you need, but... Okay. Here. That's not going to help. <laughs> I'm sorry, here. Step back up. Okay. Just a second, just a second, just a second. I can do this. I don't want you to fall down and, you know... I'm not going to fall down. Okay. I don't think. Here. There we go. Can you use me for leverage and kind of push with your knee now? Yeah. Push with this leg. This leg? Push here. Push that way. Push. Okay. push. <laughs> Try to lever yourself in. Can you? These, these are too tight. I'm sorry. Okay, step out and tell you what, I'll loosen them up a little more. Okay. And we'll get you in there. Is that all right. Thank you. Is that all you have, Paula? Yeah, that's it. All right. Here, we'll go with your fingers there. Okay, now I'm going to hold on to this end of the cuff while you okay. get in. All right. I think I can get in this time. Okay. Kind of have to bend go. the rules. There we go. Okay, now I need you to bring this hand behind your back. You bet. Okay, and now this hand. Okay. So who have you been staying with? Um, just a friend. Mike? No. Uh, <laughs> <Here>. oh. <laughs> this is 
Can you can you put your legs that way? Yep. Turn your back towards me. All right. Can you turn your arm this way at all? There yeah. we there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna keep right. Belchie in. Alrighty. And we're gonna go to the station. And I'll prepare some paperwork. Okay. I don't oh. think it's going to, uh... Maybe we'll just have to do a lap belt and be happy with that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our shoulder belt. Let's see. This is what's known as progress. In the olden days, we didn't even have to... Okay. There we go. All right. Are you comfortable yep. for the short ride? Fine. All right. This is a very little, like a torn nail or something. I'll disinfect it. Uh, yeah, that just freaks me out all the time. <laughs> Barbara, she cannot be here, even if you invite her. What? You know, she has had she has had several opportunities where Community Action Center was trying to give her housing, and she refuses to work with them. So, I mean, I I think that I know I think all the resources that we've had, they, she's she is breaking the restraining order. Yeah. Well, she's already been arrested for this once, and it obviously didn't do any good, so. <laughs> yep, I hear you. I know.
Baldwin Forge right. I'm at the station and ending is 8.3 brake reception. Can you open the cellar for me? belt off. Okay. There we go. Are you going to be able to step out okay? Yep. Once we get inside, I'll get those handcuffs off. Okay. You should be able to move around a little easier. Alright. After you. We're just going to go straight forward to where that window is, straight ahead of us. Ooh, doesn't smell very nice down here. <laughs> okay. Let go of your fingers. Do you have anything in your pockets? No. Oh, a lighter. Okay. Why don't you put your lighter right here? Okay. Do you have anything else? Nope. That's it. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put you in the cell for just a minute, okay. and then I'm going to go get your bag and bring it in here, and okay. we'll inventory it. Okay. And then we'll go through some paperwork and go from there. All right. All right. <laughs> no, no. <sighs> no. Ah. <laughs> Okay, let me know when you're done. <laughs> All decent now? Yeah. Okay, do you need to wash your hands? No, I just did. Okay, I'll tell you what, I've got the, because you've got that cut on your thumb, I want to just give you some, it's just cleanser. Okay. You don't have hand, whoops. Yeah, I just go ahead and do this. Yeah. Okay. And have a seat in that chair right there.
it, it, it'll dry really quick. Okay. My name's Sam. Hi, Sam. How are you, other than getting arrested? Well, I've been better. Okay. So, wow, you have got a lot of equipment in here. I do. Do you have any controlled substances in here? No, I don't. Any medication that's not yours? You've got. No, everything in the Okay. Well, I'll get a inventory sheet and we'll. Lighter. So, oops. Can I throw this Kleenex away? Yeah. Okay. So, what kind of a purse do you call this as opposed to this? That's just an everyday carry on. Okay. Is this a prescription antibiotic ointment? I just basically want to account for all the valuable stuff. That looks like a brand new ID card. No, that was old. Is it really? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to call these just papers. <laughs> So why did you go and visit Barbara? I don't know. I guess I was <laughs> okay. silly. I'll tell you what. Let's I know that I advised you of your rights. Kind of the condensed version out there. But I'll read it off the form so that it's exact. And of course, you've, you've heard these before, but it says you have the right to remain silent. Any statement that you do make can and will be used as evidence against you in a court of law. You're not a juvenile, so I'm not going to read the next part. You have the right at this time to an attorney of your own choosing and have him or her present before and during questioning or the making of any statements. If you cannot afford an attorney, you are entitled to have one appointed for you by a court without cost to you and have him or her present before and during questioning or the making of any statements. You have the right to exercise any of the above rights at any time before or during any questioning and the making of any statement. I have read or have had read to me the above explanation of my constitutional rights and I understand them. And if you understand them, I need you to sign at that X. And then below that it says, understanding my constitutional rights, I've decided not to exercise these rights at this time. Any statements made by me are made freely, voluntarily, and without threats or promises of any kind. And basically, if you want to talk about what happened tonight, then I need you to sign that. Let's see, it's the second day of June, isn't it? It is already. Do you have a, you underneath your nose it looks like you have a sore and I was just, I do. it's not an abrasion though, it's not like an no. injury from being hit or anything. No, okay, no. good. Okay, so 
Is this all the money you have? Okay, I'm not going to... We'll go through there and just make sure, but... Okay, so... Okay, well, let's count this. And put it back in there. So there's... Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty. So okay, so six twenties. Would you agree with that? Yes. One ten. Another ten. Okay, so mm -hmm. two tens. Mm -hmm. One five. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's your cash accounted for. And then you have four, three, four, five, six, seven quarters. One dime, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so two dollars and two, four, six, eight, ten. Two dollars and ten cents in coins. Would you agree? Yes. Okay.